Welcome, 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 Law of One. This evening, I would like to tell you a story. There was once a young man. He was faced with the burden of adulthood. All things lay before him, and he did not know what he should choose. But of one thing he was sure, and that is that he wished to get that out of his life which he would feel was enough. For all his life he had heard his parents say, We would like to do this or to have that, but we do not have enough time or we do not have enough money. The young man was quite determined that he would accomplish the possession of enough. The young man of which I speak desired things which were greatly different than those which his parents failed to achieve. For as he looked and searched for fulfillment in his life, he found that it would be enough to do that which he truly felt was his purpose in incarnating into this present life. For the young man spent many years viewing his parents and their difficulties viewing his own hardships and uh, realizing that the world was but an illusion and that there is only one thing to be achieved, and that is the spiritual growth of each and every individual in whatever way that they feel is comfortable and adequate and for their purpose. Each of us walk a different path, yet all paths eventually shall lead to the same point, the point of union with the creation and its creator. And if you do nothing in your life other than fulfill your own spiritual hunger, then you have done enough. For in doing so, you shall be assured that that which is to manifest around you in your world will be in harmony with the direction that you seek. Though many times you will experience difficult situations, within each test there is a lesson to be learned, and with each learning you pass farther and farther, and through this passing you gain the knowledge and fulfillment for which you have incarnated. Now, I'm going to tell you this, my friends. Man upon earth faces a dilemma, which shall indeed test his spirit. And those that are weak shall have difficulties, but those that are strong shall have the greatest, for they are prepared to burden the hardships of their fellow man as well as their own. In reaching out their hands to assist those whom they are able to help, we urge that you seek within yourself the fulfillment of life and of spirit. It is imperative that you take time to yourself to offer prayer to your Creator, to meditate, and to attempt to reunite your consciousness with that of the Creator and to attune yourself to the energies that are beginning to flow more and more freely within your environment. For if you are sensitive, you will gain great strength from the influx of positive energies from what you would call the next dimension or area within your universe. Earth passes quickly into this space. Those who harmonize with the greater energies shall in one way or another graduate with this earth sphere, and those who do not 
shall experience a form of death through which they may incarnate once again into their present dilemma to attempt to seek the answers which they have not found within their experience. It is true, many of your people still seek material life, still place all the importance upon the gain of material objects. This is not necessarily wrong, but it indeed should be a secondary goal. Life is short, as you know it, but it continues forever, for beyond this experience shall be another, and another, and in each life there is only one, one thing that you need, and that is to continue your spiritual direction, for it is enough. It shall provide you with all that is needed. In the prayer which you prayed prior to this meditation, you made a request of an invisible presence or force. Give us today enough to eat. This prayer was taught to a small band of students by a good teacher, and it encompasses an accurate view of the relative importance of having enough. The seeking within the illusion for enough, if it goes beyond that which is easily measured, will go awry and will cause great frustration. There will not be enough sooner or later, one way or another. Within your illusion, depending upon how you have chosen to learn the lessons of love, you will find what you consider to be shortages of power, money, influence, or love. In fact, all of these shortages are some distortion of love and may be viewed as opportunities to discover the true nature of love. If you do not have enough money, you may find that your discomfort distracts you from seeking. But if you exercise another point of view, you may find that your lack of abundance has produced a simplicity that frees you to love. If you lack power, you may feel victimized. But you may also take this opportunity to practice the realization that that an entity or group of entities which victimizes you is in fact part of you, and together with you is the Creator, and is therefore infinitely lovable. Any distressing situation, any shortage, can be the opportunity you intended for yourself in order that you might balance within yourself some aspect of the nature of a unifying and powerful love. If you have the faith to examine situations, especially reoccurring situations or conditions which seem to say to you, I do not have enough, you may well find therein the key to your reason for personal study during this incarnational experience. You will not have discovered what it is you may do for those about you, but before you serve others, it is well to feel that you have a plentiful and bountiful selfhood that you are standing upon solid ground within your own being, 
and that you are not faced with internal weaknesses which will make it impossible or improbable for you to be of service to others. The inner work, the work upon the self, is not selfish. For it is only the whole self that can serve the creator it sees in others. What you see is a reflection of what you are. If you have not found enough, then you will continually view outer shortages. If within yourself you have discovered the wholeness of your being and the adequacy, indeed, the perfection of your consciousness, you will then find that same consciousness buried, however deeply, in the illusion about you. You may think to yourself that you cannot possibly find a whole and complete being within yourself. It is certain that your culture does not encourage you to feel whole. However, through meditation and the discipline of analysis of your thoughts and your actions, you can find the keys that open the door to wholeness. This wholeness is another word for love. For love is that which is not broken or battered or in any way imperfect. Love indeed is creative and multiplies that wherein it dwells. Sometimes you may feel as if your situation were that of a certain crowd spoken of in your holy works, called the Bible. A certain crowd gathered upon many hills, many thousands of people, and you have a few loaves of bread and a couple of fish, and you feel completely inadequate to nourish that which is about you, those who need you. You feel that you do not have the food, the nourishment, the love that is necessary. But this is the point. Such is the power of love as it flows through you from the infinite source which has created all that that which you have will be enough. You are enough and you have enough. And so our young man could grow old and die and never find enough unless the attention had been turned to the inner silence that beacons all who seek. An inner silence so filled with joy that those who have felt it Recognize others by that one smile that says to the world, Yes, I have felt it too. I have known infinite bounty. I have felt the sunshine of a universe scattered carelessly, abundantly and wastefully upon my upturned spirit. I have asked, I have received. Those who have received radiate that which they have received and give it again a hundredfold. And so, my friends, please do not think ill of your poverty, whether it be of power or of money or of the right words, or of enough love, or of the ability to deal with a situation correctly today. For a little while, you have left eternity, and you are living in time. You brought infinity with you. You brought the infinite love that created you and is you, with you. Claim it. It is your birthright. 
Whatever has gone wrong this day, whatever will go wrong tomorrow, be serene still in the confidence that that small effort that you can make, that tiny bit of love that you can bring through, that little bit of might of what is needed will multiply for you and you will live abundantly. You know, my friends, that there is much help if you wish to claim and call upon that help. You are not and never have been alone in your experience. There are those who you would call angels who are with you at all times, but especially upon request. There is your own self, of which you are only a part in this incarnation, sometimes called your higher self, which comes as you call it. There is the fullness, infinite and invisible power of love, if you but call within yourself. There is the light of truth, if you but ask. I hope to inspire you to seek the truth. Any thought which I may share with you could be spoken incorrectly or could be misunderstood by us. For I am not perfect. We are not perfect, but are merely your brothers and sisters. We wish mainly to encourage you to continue seeking love, uh, to continue then seeking to manifest that love in your very dark world. For such love burns like a light and lightens the fragile earth which binds you to this illusion. We rejoice with you that you have this opportunity to seek and to strive and to choose what you will do. We can see all the choices and much of truth. Our choices are made for us. We have been through our choice. We now serve and attempt to refine that choice. You are moving more quickly in your spiritual evolution than you ever have or ever will again. For yours is that glorious moment, a mere lifetime long, when you have the opportunity to choose forever to love. I am one of those of Hatan, and as you love, so do we. We greet you and bid you farewell in the love and the light of the infinite creator, Adone Vasu Baragas. <laughs>